Okay, so in this video I'm going to quickly explain how to install Daggerfall Unity. Um, so I suppose first of all, to quickly explain what Daggerfall Unity is. So it's basically a reconstruction or a kind of a, a mod, I suppose, if you want to call it that, um, of Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall from 1996. Um, it's rebuilt under the Unity engine, uh, which is a kind of a mod project. Um, and this is the website for that project. Um, so uh, dfworkshop.net. Um, so you'll, you'll find all of the links in this video underneath my Daggerfall streams, which are uploaded onto this channel. Um, and the three important links are here. So I have the Daggerfall Workshop site, which I just showed you now. Uh, the link to download the Unity file and a, a tutorial to um, kind of layer that on top of the Steam version. But trust me, it's actually not that complicated. And I'm, I'm actually not too familiar with PC gaming or mods or anything like that. And actually, I found it quite beginner friendly, actually. So yeah, so basically Daggerfall Unity is a pretty slick um mod and reconstruction of daggerfall with a lot of bug fixes and kind of improvements uh performance improvements and as you can see here it looks pretty nice so i suppose people want to know and maybe there are videos explaining this already but hopefully this will be one of the more easier easier explanations um or easy explanations out there um so yeah so this is where you'll find all the kind of information on it this is just the the unity site um dfworkshop.net so what you what you need to do first is this is step one is you need to download daggerfall the original daggerfall as it was in the, in 1996 from steam and it's free um so thankfully uh bethesda or who, whoever made it free and available on steam which is great um and i think yeah 25 megs of space <laughs> um 8 megabyte of ram yeah it's going to run on your if you if you've a relatively new laptop or pc it's going to run pretty smoothly uh so you download this install it uh, and don't do anything else just install it you don't need to play it you don't need to open it just install the game on your pc that's step 1 go on to steam get daggerfall for free and install it okay so the next step is if you follow the second link under my videos um this one here, GitHub, you'll find that you'll come to this page. And it took me a few minutes to find it, but the file is on this page to download da Daggerfall Unity, which is kind of a, just just think of it as a secondary software or something that works on top of the Steam version. <clears throat> and it functions very seamlessly. So if you scroll down until you find Assets, so you'll see here Assets, um if you're on windows a modern windows pc or laptop you want to download windows 64 bit assuming that's what your system is and there are other versions here but for me it was windows 64 so i suppose that's what i know so let's so i download that and it's you'll get a folder okay so now what you want to do is when you've downloaded that what you want to do is jump into link tree steam version tutorial and you'll come to this page okay so once you've done step one, you've installed Daggerfall from Steam. Step two, you've downloaded the zip folder from link number two from uh, GitHub, uh, github.com. So step three now is open this tutorial page, okay? And I'm just going to walk you. This is, the, this is how you actually get it installed. And I'm just going to walk through this very easily, very simply, and quickly. So this is just saying what I've already said. Install Daggerfall, download Unity. Uh, here's a, a shot of that. Um, so yeah, so when you unzip the file in the folder into somewhere safe and just call it Daggerfall Unity, I just did it in documents under PC gaming. Um, that's not too important. Uh, it's just so you remember where the Unity folder is. But um, open Daggerfall Unity. So that'll be in that zip folder. Okay. It'll ask you and you'll get to this, and it's going to ask you to pick a path. Choose a path for Unity, okay? So if you copy and paste this, 
Okay, let me just do it, show it as an example. Okay, so you open File Explorer, go to the path or the URL bar up here and paste that and press enter, okay? And this is where you want the path to be, okay? So that's just to show you where it is. But in when you get to here, paste that into here and click OK. Okay, so that's what that's going to do is it's going to link Unity to the Steam version and layer all the new stuff on top of it. Okay, so then select the resolution, probably 1920 by 1080 for most people. Quality, if you have a decent, obviously, if you've, a, you know, you can bring this down if you, if you think your system's going to be uh, lagged or anything. But if you have a decent system, just, you know, choose one of these higher ones. And then you'll get to select some some of the kind of mods that are built in. Um, I used I use I'm using an Xbox controller, so you want to you want to click that. Um, it's up to yourself whether you want to have like left hand weapons, nudity, um, you know, some other kind of quality of life improvements. Um, you can integrate other mods, but it's not something I've done. I just I, I'm playing just with what Unity brings. And anything else I haven't thought about yet. So this is just for Unity and what Unity comes with. So as I said, once you, once you do this and you send it to there, send it to this uh, path and click OK, select your resolution, you know, whatever you think yourself is fine. It's, it's not going to make a huge difference. And then you just, this this will come up at the start of every, every time you open the, the file, basically. This is going to come up anyway, so don't worry about uh, none of this is permanent. You'll be able to change these as you as you go, and um, you just click play, and then you're in, basically. Um, so let me just see. Yeah, you don't need to worry about this stuff. Um, so I suppose I can just demonstrate what it looks like. So then, if you pin, just pin that file. So I scroll back. So see this file. Just pin it to the desktop or your start, whatever. Um, and you can click it and hopefully it's going to open for me <laughs> so this will open you will get to here and you just click play and you're in okay so that's as simple as that so actually it's not too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize very quickly in notepad what you need to do okay so step one Download Daggerfall from Steam. Okay, step two is going to be download Unity folder. So that's going to be your link two under my video. Step three is going to be uh, so you want to obviously unzip Unity. And I should say download and it and install so then you want to unzip and open unity file step four choose path to og dagger file uh, i'll just say copy and paste it's in link three under my video uh, step five is just literally open um, uh, yeah open uni choose settings and play and then obviously step six subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful Thanks. Okay, so you can screenshot that if that helps, and obviously you can listen through again. Um, but even without listening to my words, if you just go to my Daggerfall videos and look at the three links, you have a kind of an overview of what Unity is. You'll find the Unity file there about a quarter way down under Assets, uh, and this link will tell you how to layer on top of the Steam version after you've downloaded it and installed it from Steam for free. And then you should be able to play just like I do, very simply. And you can map, if you have an Xbox controller, you can map it. 
um by pressing start and then going to controls and then it should be like layout two or whatever it's in the top right hand corner but uh i can do another video on that if that's something that people would like to know how to do as well to map the controller but uh for now that's yeah that's how you download and install and run daggerfall unity so if you found that helpful like i said uh just subscribe to the channel and, and drop a comment and i'm happy enough to engage and provide more context if if it's needed so yeah thanks very much